boy, I probably can't even get a straight line across there. Cutting the cake was admittedly easier than 25 years of hurricane forecasting for America's foremost storm expert on his last day at work. Colleagues made sure the man known for his fine gift of gab would never lose his skills, presenting him with a thesaurus. So it's with a great sense of regret that I leave, although it's also kind of exciting to look forward to joining many of you in your own industry. After 13 years as director of the National Hurricane Center, the legendary Dr. Frank is changing careers, becoming a weathercaster at a Houston television station. Six named storms, very quiet. In the time period I've been here, I sat down one time, probably have tracked or been involved in the tracking of 250 storms. His most memorable hurricane was Camille in 1969. That was an awesome storm, uh, one of the worst that's ever hit the United States. But aside from the storms of earlier years, Dr. Frank says nature has been good to him, with few serious hurricanes hitting in the past two decades. Surprisingly, Dr. Frank says he didn't always want to be a meteorologist. He wanted to play and coach basketball. But a college teacher persuaded him to study science, and eventually the Air Force offered him a career science program. So I signed up real quick and then found out meteorology isn't the study of meteors at all. It was the study of forecasting. So today, Dr. Frank turns over the microphones to his successors, only to clip on a TV studio mic in Houston. His colleagues say he leaves a legacy as the man who taught those who live in hurricane zones about the dangers and perhaps taught us all how to save our own lives. Ileana Bravo, News 4.